What is up, YouTube, and welcome to another Cribs Out Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. I want a hot dog. Bring me a hot dog. Bring me a hot dog. And then this one. Hello. Mm, you sloppy. Starting February 20, which is in about a week, YouTube's monetization system is having a huge change. All of this started because of Logan Paul. YouTube's known to promote heavily searched up things on Google. Since everybody was posting about Logan Paul, YouTube decided we can't let one huge creator impact our whole YouTube. Before all of this, if you wanted to monetize your videos, you at least needed 10,000 channel views throughout your whole lifetime. Starting February 20th, in order for a channel to be able to monetize their videos, you're gonna have to have 4,000 watch hours on YouTube as well as 1,000 subscribers. So everyone's saying that small YouTubers are gonna get really impacted. The changes they're making, the only thing that changed from the previous one is the subscriber count. Getting your first 1,000 subs is for sure is the most difficult part on YouTube. Why would YouTube do this? YouTube is a huge company. They're looking for business. They want serious people on YouTube. And if you're a small channel and you're thinking, well, I am serious, YouTube doesn't see you seriously because you're not making them money. YouTube is pretty much just concentrating on the people that are actually serious about YouTube because YouTube has turned from a place where people just post videos to probably the biggest social media outlet. You could start a serious business through YouTube. So YouTube itself is concentrating on those people that are aimed towards that. Cause in the long run, they're gonna make them the most money. If you're a small channel and you're being affected by this new change, this shouldn't discourage you on posting videos. Gaining the 1000 subs will take some time. Let me tell you that. As far as the 4,000 watch time, the 4,000 hour watch time isn't difficult. The old requirement of 10,000 views was not difficult at all. All you need is one video to do good and you're able to reach that. I completely understand why YouTube is doing this. It's gonna pretty much completely destroy the channels that would just repost videos from other channels. There's a lot of channels that just post other people's videos and monetize them. And when YouTube shuts their channel down, they just make a new one. This is gonna completely destroy all of those people's channels. YouTube can start concentrating on the people that are serious about YouTube. What do I mean by when you're serious about YouTube? You can tell when someone's serious about YouTube. They're not gonna be posting videos that everybody else posts. They're gonna be posting videos and they're gonna be posting a lot of them. That's when you know someone's serious about YouTube. And that's who YouTube will be focusing on. I believe that YouTube is pretty much just refreshing all of YouTube. The big channels have already succeeded. The big channels are there. All I'm seeing from this is YouTube is starting to think about its smaller YouTube side and is helping them out dramatically. This is a really smart business move from YouTube side. In order to get paid on YouTube, you need at least $100 in your AdSense and then YouTube could pay you. This new system is affecting all of those people that don't typically make $100 on YouTube. So you're thinking to yourself, oh man, I'm making all these videos and I'm not getting money. I'm gonna stop making videos. That's why YouTube's introducing this new system. It's completely eliminating the people that aren't serious about YouTube. I'm all for this new system. For all you smaller channels, I wish you the best of luck. All of us had to reach our first 1,000 subs, which trust me, it's pretty difficult. Nobody is gonna get 1,000 subs out of nowhere, except that they get shouted out. So I challenge you guys, go ahead and get those first 1,000 subs. You wanna go run? <laughs> People ask, what does his name tag say? Crypto was on the hunt. 
Saw a pretty young thing, now doggo lost. Please call. On the back it has my number and then I'm also microchipped. Have two baby mamas, no babies. I did buy this online. I'll throw the link down in the description. You guys can customize your own. I think it's like $4. What's up, bro? Mouser. Mouser. Oh, yeah? Mouser. Yeah, not bad, dude. He just grabbed at him. No. No, I just had a protective look at him. Yeah. He likes crypto. Mmm, you like yeah. crypto. <laughs> well, I think he got bigger, right? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Settle down, Mauser. Stay. Hello. Mm -hmm. mm, you slobber. Mm. What is Scooby doing, huh? You're so skinny. Mm. Let him in, let him in. Oh, what? Crypto. Crypto. Come here. He's taking the beating. <laughs> go, let him go to the backyard. YG, calm down. Yes. 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 <laughs> YG is mad, dude. Look at him. YG is mad. Uh, give it to me. <laughs> so we got this. Oh, oh my gosh. Slow down, crypto, crypto. This thing is complete savage. I think it is homemade or something. It does feel like a longboard, except I can't move. Shouts out Papa YG for letting me borrow this. A lot of you guys wonder what harness I actually use. This Explorer harness right here sold by Front Pet. Only one size, but it is adjustable with these straps right here. Since Crypto does have a bit of fur, it could loosen over time. It does come with a leash as well, a bungee leash. I did use this, but it eventually wore out. And once these wear out, they're not bungee anymore. Would I buy this harness again? We should actually make a freaking review on it. Let's leave a review. Write a customer review. I hate it. I don't like it. It's okay. I like it. I love it. You know we have to give it a f I freaking love it. Post it publicly as crypto. Oh yeah. What did you like the most? What did you like the least? I used this explore harness. I featured this on most of my YouTube videos. Here's the review. I feature this harness on most of my YouTube videos. It's been through dog fights, a ton of mushing, and some unexpected breaking. Comma, I think, probably. As I run my husky full speed on my bike, my go-to harness. I think it went down in price. The padding could be uncomfortable in hotter weather for the dog. Is its only defect. Check out my YouTube KZE production for video footage. That's free advertisement right there. I'm gonna submit it. The harness has always been down in my description. If you guys check out my description, it has all my social media links as well as all the gear I use. And here it is, the Explorer harness. Get it.
Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.